Uh, good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. I am your fellow brother in the Lord, Hosanna David, and I'm happy that the Lord has kept us to see this great day that he has given to us. In case you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channels, Hosanna E. David and Igo Ayopana. I want to quickly share with us what the Lord laid in my heart to address, and I feel this issue is very, very important even to the body of Christ in this generation, and if the Lord tarries in the generations to come. Uh, there is something that is going on in the world in the, and in the body of Christ which is very, very dangerous, and I want to discourage people from doing it because it is it has led to a lot of idolatry, and not just idolatry, it has led to uh, the abuse of the use of warfare prayer and praying to God too. Uh, Jesus Christ is the only way to God. There is no other way we can reach God, and when people start praying through the name of they are men of God, they are pastors, they are prophets, and also pray to God uh, through the God of their prophets. Then we have to uh, discourage people from doing this because it is a very dangerous game. Now, this is what I'm saying. A lot of people, when they want to pray to God, they will pray prayer like, for instance, I want to pray that... Uh, it, the God of uh, Hosanna David should come down. The God that my prophet served should come down. The God of, I'm praying this prayer in the name of the God of my papa. I'm praying this prayer in the name of the God of our prophet. Well, a lot of people may argue this with me, and I, I am not saying it is not biblical to an extent to pray like this. But what I am saying is that it is a very dangerous game you are playing because the person you may be praying through the name of his God or to his God, that person may be serving an idol. In a world where we have majority of prophets who are false, what is the a confidence we should have to pray through the name of their God or pray to their God? when you have the name of God to pray to. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Why not pray to Jesus? Pray to God through Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus said, whatsoever thing you ask the Father in my name, I will do it. It will be given to you. And Jesus, when he taught the disciples the what we normally call the Lord's Prayer, he said, when you pray, pray like this our father who art in heaven so we should pray to our father in heaven we should pray to the god of heaven and earth and not to the god of our prophet now the bible says in uh, second kings chapter 2 when a, after elijah was taken up um second kings chapter 2 verse uh, 14 after elijah was taken up elisha got to the river and he took the mantle that fell from his master he smoothed the water and he shouted he prayed trying to seek the evidence physical evidence of his calling he invoked the name of the god of his master he said where is now the god the lord god of elijah and he smoothed the water, the water parted. Now, somebody may argue this and even use the, the scripture, uh, what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 22, verse uh, 32. Jesus said, God is the God of the living. He's the God of Abraham, and he's the God of Jacob. He's the God of Isaac, and he's the God of Jacob. God is the God of the living. So if <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> if Jesus calls God the God of Abraham, uh, somebody may say, why not we call God the God of our prophet, the God of our papa, the God? Now, 
I want to tell you this, that Abraham, Abraham, Jacob, Isaac, Elijah, these are people that passed through the test of time and they succeeded. They were tested and they were seen as true holy men of God, holy prophets, holy men of God who walked with God throughout their lifetime. Elisha saw the chariots of fire, took his master to heaven. So he had every evidence. He was just commissioned. So he wanted to test his ministry. If the God that called his master is actually with him, whether the God was with him. So he tested the power, the commissioning, and proved his calling by calling on the Lord God of Elijah. Jesus Christ mentioning and saying that God is the God of living, that God is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. These are the fathers, the patriarchs. They have been tested. Jesus had the assurance that these people fought and they never went to hell. They are seated in a comfortable place before the Father. So, why God tells us, the Bible says that we should test every spirit if they are of God. The dangerous part of it is this. <coughs> Excuse me. If you have not tested the spirit that your pastor is walking through, the prophet is prophesying, is revealing deep things. If you don't have the Spirit of God and have tested the Spirit through the Spirit of discernment, why pray through his God? Why pray to his God? And some ministers don't even like praying to the God of heaven. They will pray by the God, by the power in this altar. By the God of this altar. Which God is the God of that altar? And a lot of people will say, Amen. I am not saying it is totally wrong, but I am telling you, in this generation, we should refrain from this kind of prayers. Even if you are a true man of God, because we have a lot of altars that people pray through. It shouldn't be a regular pattern of prayer. There are altars... Go to the internet, you see a lot of videos, uh, pastors who have been exposed in, in cause of burying animals, burying human beings in, when they were laying their foundation. So why do you want to trust these people? Why not pray to God? If, if you do not pray to God through Jesus, you are making a very big mistake. Today, Catholics... Roman Catholics have been deceived for many centuries now. They have been deceived by praying to Mary and praying through Mary, pray through saints. Now, a lot of Pentecostal pastors, we protested. We are protesters. These are some of the things we protested against. And we said we can never continue in this body. This is idolatry. This same idolatry had been fashioned and embellished it has been recreated to look very sweet and very beautiful and a lot of people have been led astray if you are a christian please refrain from praying through the name of the god of your pastor pray if you know that god call his name because a lot of pastors they don't have jehovah they don't have Jesus, they don't have the Holy Ghost as their God. So if, for instance, they are Illuminati, if they took their powers from the marine kingdom and you are praying that I owe you God of my prophet, God of my pastor, come and save me. You are praying to a demon. You are praying to the God that he is serving, the idol he is serving. That is the danger. That is why I said it is very, very dangerous. I, it, you have to test every spirit and know whether these spirits are from God. Even when you know, I'm not encouraging anybody to pray this kind of prayer. Because 
you could be deceived. Yes, a lot of deception in town today, even in the body of Christ. A lot of deception. So don't even pray through any the name of any prophet, the name of any pastor, the name of uh, the God. Don't pray to the God of any man of God. Pray to God Almighty. Pray to our Father in heaven through Jesus Christ, and He will give you what you want. A lot of prophets are encouraging it because they call the God of so 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 so. If I they call the God of I don't want to mention any ministry. The God of so, the God of Papa, the God of this commission. How are you sure that the God of that man of God, your man of God, is Jehovah, is Yahweh, is Yeshua, Jesus Christ? Don't be deceived. This is the end time. Value your salvation. Stop this idolatry in the body of Christ. I want to thank you for watching. And if you've watched, please kindly share this video. Leave your comments below. And if you have any question, you can email me at hosannadavid at ymail.com or info at igoayopna.com. Visit my website, igoayopna.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. Thank you and God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.